I cannot believe we are moving. Happy fall, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You can see I'm dressed for fall. Fall is my favorite season when it comes to fashion and weather and everything. It just makes me so happy. It's been a crazy couple of weeks for me. It's been a crazy month. I haven't been posting as much podcast content, as much content in general on my platform, so I wanna share with you guys why. So we are in the process of moving, and it has been taking up all of our time. Before anyone freaks out, we're saying, in Tennessee, we're staying in Nashville. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been a little sad that we're leaving this space, but also really ready for a new beginning and a new start. Um, if you've been keeping up with real estate, it is a seller's market right now. And it has been so hard to find a place because we don't want to buy. So we currently lease. We leased this place so we could see where we would want to build or buy in Nashville. We're pretty central and the traffic is insane. They're very much trying to make Nashville LA, which makes me sad. So we're trying to go a little bit further out because there's so much traffic, it's so crowded. Everything is getting super expensive, which with hyperinflation on the way and inflation in general, everything is expensive. So we've spent the last month just searching and searching and searching for a home to move into. And it has just been so stressful. It's been so difficult in Nashville and even like right outside of Nashville, homes are literally being rented without people even seeing them. So many people are fleeing blue states. It is what it is. You can say whatever you want, but it's true. People are coming here from New York and from LA and they're just trying to get away from their tyrannical governors, which is fine. Just don't bring your politics here because that's why you're leaving where you're at. As God moves me out of seasons and into places, I feel like right before I'm getting ready to leave, God always like makes it so clear to where I know, okay, my time is done here. This is probably the last video you're gonna see in this studio. So with my olive backdrop here, I painted this wall olive because it is my brand, it's my color. And although I'm sad to, to leave it, I can always repaint another wall. God's timing is always perfect. So if you're in the same kind of season and you're moving or you know, you're know you trying to buy a house, whatever it is, take heart and try not to get too stressed. Don't be anxious, don't worry. I know those are natural things, we all go through that. I've been very stressed the last couple of weeks, but I pulled myself out of it very quickly as I'm like, you know what? God has a plan. And every time I get overwhelmed, I just go to my Bible, I open my Bible and I just start praying and I just start talking to God because you know, we are in unprecedented times right now, but unprecedented times call for unprecedented solutions where God gets to show his power and God's power is perfect in our weakness. Even if you think you're gonna have the perfect life once you do this, this, and this, once you get those things, you, something else happens. And I just learned that really God is in control and that God will never forsake us and that he will take care of us. I know a lot of people are struggling through this season with losing jobs because of mandates, our freedoms being infringed upon. And I want to encourage you that if you are in the space right now where you're not willing to bow down to man and you're standing by your medical freedom and you are going to potentially lose your job. God will close doors that no man can open and he will open doors that no man can close. I've even experienced that in the last couple of months. And this is a season now where we're being pressed and on all sides, but we're not crushed. And we're learning that we really have to rely on God for everything, for our jobs, for our next meal, for where we're going to live. You know, we've never really been in control. We have free will, don't get me wrong, but God is in control and nothing catches him by surprise. And I found a, a lot of peace in that and knowing that God will take care of us and that he will guide us. And you never know what's waiting for you in the next season when God leads you somewhere. You know, the hardest thing about being obedient to God 
is not knowing what's going to happen. You know, why would we need faith if we knew how everything would turn out? You know, faith is easy when times are good, but perseverance comes through faith in hard times, in difficult times. So I just want to let you know if you're going through a hard season, whether it's all the craziness happening, you know, even me personally, I kind of look around our country right now and I'm like, this is a disaster. You know, how do people not see it yet? I feel like every day I, I wake up and I'm like, are people awake yet? And the hardest thing about being awake through all of this nonsense in our country right now is watching sleepers walking around thinking that they're on the right side. We're living in biblical times. Biblical prophecy is being laid out and played out. And if you're not paying attention, you're going to miss it. I post some stuff on my stories of some things that have been happening the last couple of weeks, like the Euphrates River and with the Dead Sea. So you guys can go to my faith highlight on my Instagram if you're interested in that. But the Bible is literally jumping off of the pages. And everything that has happened the last season has just made my faith stronger. And, you know, for so long, I was so caught up in the world and got my approval from the world that I was not really walking with Jesus because you can't walk with God and walk with the world at the same time. You can't want to please the world and want to please God at the same time. So wherever you find yourself, I encourage you to stand firm and to stand strong and to hold the line to not bow to the culture. I know it's scary. I know it might seem like, well, you know, I can't lose my job or, you know, I don't know where I'm going to live. What am I going to do? If you are a Christian, if you believe in God, he will take care of you. It might not be what you thought it would be. It might not look like what you thought it would look like, but the Lord will always take care of you. And just know that anytime you're going to speak truth and stand up for truth and stand up for God, you're going to be met with opposition. It's not something that's easy, but you were created to fight the darkness. You were created. God made you for such a time as this. He could have picked you to live in any other time in his story, but he picked you to live right now. I never thought I would live in a time where the government and the media was trying to convince us that our freedom is selfish. When standing up for freedom and truth is the most honorable thing that you can do. Standing up for your brothers and sisters to be free as God created us to be, you know, by the grace of God, we were born free. So we have to start acting like it. You are free, start acting like it. Stop letting tyrants and stop letting people who are corrupt and evil and demonic tell you what is best for you. When you look at the Bible, it is covered in people saying no to tyrants. It is covered in people saying, I fear God, I don't fear government. And if what the government tells me is against God, I'm not going to do it. Um, I mentioned before, like the book of Exodus with Moses and the Hebrew women. You have Esther. I mean, she spoke out in politics, risked her life, could have been put to death. But because of her voice and standing up for the truth, she saved her people. So these are critical times in history. And I will not be silenced or censored or be quiet in a time where I then have to pass on this battle to my future children. If we don't stand up now, our children won't have a place where they can stand at all later. And a lot of people don't understand the gravity of what's happening right now. All this to say, I know a lot of people are tired and weary and feeling hopeless. Wrap yourself in the full armor of God. Get into your Bibles and just know that you're never alone. You know, if I'm not posting as much content as I usually do, just know that I'm still here. And, you know, we have built this community on my YouTube channel, on Instagram, on my other platforms where you can come and you can use your voice and you can talk and connect with people. So don't ever feel like you're alone. You know, I hope you guys know that if you ever need a friend that you can come to my platform. My platform is a space for truth and it's a place for us to come together and stand together. So just know that you always have a friend here on my platform. Um, make sure you're following me on Instagram as well. If you haven't already, I post more updates on IG stories and stuff. 
especially with, you know, moving and all of that. As far as my podcast, Liberty Before Lipstick, I have so many episodes there if you haven't listened already. Most likely I'll be resuming the episodes once I move. I'll try to get one in before, but I can't promise. We have a lot to pack. And um, yeah, uh, I'm like stressed. We've been packing little by little, but now we've got to go all in and start getting everything together. And it is just, I don't even want to think about it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure your notifications are on so you know when I upload and drop a comment down below. I'll be chatting with you guys. If you have any prayer requests, please feel free to drop those down below as well. Hope everyone's doing well and I will catch you in my next video.